Welcome back, Game Maker. How to control the fire rate of the player. A lot of people that start off with Game Maker have a little player, um, sort of like my little player there. They get him to fire, but then the player can fire every time they hit the key, and it's just way too much firing. And uh, you don't want to do it so the player holds down the key and then can really spam the screen with a lot of firing. So what we want to do is find a way in code to control the rate of the player fire. Let's get to it. Go to the player object and let's go to the create method. Now in the create method, you can obviously make variables that belong to your player. Those are instance variables. Let's make a variable in here and I'm just going to call it uh, fire counter and I'm going to put it at zero. What I'm going to do is I'm going to have this variable tick up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The player's not going to be allowed to fire unless they have more than 15 on their fire counter. And when they do fire, I'll just drop the fire counter back down to zero again, and then they'll have to wait a little longer for that fire counter to build back up. So that was the first step, making the variable in the instance. Now let's go to the step method, which you guys know is happening around 30 times every second. Ignore that code there, and let's just go fire counter is fire counter plus one. And now let's go to where the person actually decides to fire, now that we have this thing counting up by one every step. Now we go to the space bar. Now this is where they normally decide to fire. They hit the space bar, this code runs. Now I don't want that to happen every single time. I want to ask a little condition first. So here's two ways that you can do it. The first way is I can ask a nice positive if statement, like if fire counter is greater or equal to 15, then I can fire. Now this works beautifully. You can imagine when the game first starts, if they start hitting the space bar, their fire counter is only at like zero or one or two. They try to fire. No, this isn't true. It will not run the code. But if they wait long enough, right, half a second or so, then this will be over 15 or greater than 15. And yes, it'll fire. But it's really important not to forget this. Put this counter back to zero. If you don't put it back to zero, the fire counter just keeps counting up. And it'll always be over 15 from that point on. And then they just fire whenever they want. And so this is a nice one uh, that you guys can add in here. Now just let me check my variable names before I give this a run. Fire counter. Yeah, I spelt everything right. All right, let's give this a little go. Let's see what happens here. I'm just going to hit the space bar over and over and over and over. And you can see I'm really hitting the space bar, but it's only letting me fire every 15 steps, right? It takes 15 steps for that fire counter to get up there. Now, if that's a little too slow for you, you can probably guess what to do. Just go to that space bar. Don't say 15. Say something like, you know, say something like 6. Okay, and then you get the fire. A little bit more. Now it's a little bit tighter. Even better than this, when your programs start to get a little uh, more clever, is you'll probably want to do this. Don't actually say a number there. Do something like this. Make a variable. So I'll just space that out so you can see it better. I'm going to call it fire rate. And then I can go back to my create event. And let's add that variable in there. Fire rate equals 6. And so this is a nice way to do it because if you ever want to go and change the fire rate, you don't have to go hunting, you know, and hunting there to the uh, space bar method and uh, go type numbers in here. All you have to really do is you know that you keep all your important variables here in the create method and that you can just change the fire rate, you know, change it to 5. And then this works beautifully again, hopefully. And now that's your fire rate of every five steps. Hopefully that helps you out, gets you started, and gives you some ideas on how to control the rates of things with code. Thanks for watching.